So we're back at the Nikon stand at the Photography Show 2014. Back speaking with Jeremy Walker, who we had a quick chat with earlier on. Hi, how's it going? Very good. Great show. I think Future have done a great job. Any highlights for you so far? Uh, I had a play with the D4S, the new Nikon, earlier on. Very nice. Makes a great sound at 12 frames a second. Uh, looked at um, a couple of talks. Joe McNally on the Nikon stand again. Uh, great guy, learning from a National Geographic guy. Uh, good to talk to him. And I've uh, been down to the Lee Filter stand and looking at their new Little Stopper, big bro little brother to the Big Stopper. Uh, that's been fun to play with. Uh, but yeah, it's been a great show. So as a photographer, you know, even though you're kind of immersed in the world uh, every day of your lives, there's still things that are exciting you here. Absolutely. Yeah, there's, there's new kit. It's good to see old friends on the Nikon stand and have a good mooch round. It's been good. Speaking of new kit, you've got something pretty new and shiny here to show us right now, haven't you? Yeah, the, um, the DF launched last year. It's Nikon's new little baby, if you like, uh, sort of semi-retro styled. It's got good old-fashioned buttons on it and uh, shutter speed dial, ISO dial, metal, retro styled, and it's absolutely beautiful. Now, you say this launched last year. It looks as though it could have been launched about 40 or 50 years ago. Yeah, it's um, retro is a word that gets banded around, um, but it's, it's certainly got a retro style and feel and look to it. Um, people of my generation were brought up with cameras with shutter speed dials, and it kind of harks back to Nikon F3, Nikon F, FM2, uh, and that's when I started out in, in the trade. Uh, it, we were using cameras that looked like this. So show me around the camera, because like you say, it's got the retro styling, but it's certainly high-tech inside, isn't it? Oh, it's very high-tech. It's got the D4 chip. Um, it's got the shutter from the D610. Um, it's got styling on the top, shutter speed. Everything's easy to see. Don't need to go to an LED screen or anything like that. It's uh, easy to use. Anything from a beginner through to a pro like myself can use one of these with absolutely no problem at all. So you say it's got the same sensor as the D4? D4, yeah, it's it's um, it's very good. Low light, high ISO, which the D4 camera was very good at. It has the same chip uh, and the same electronics as the D4. So for street photography uh, and things like that, low light photography, walking around, prime lenses, it's ideal for that sort of work. Perhaps we can just take a look at the back for the yep. benefits of the, the viewers here. So that's definitely a, a very modern looking camera from the back, it's kind of around the top and the front, you've got yeah. HDMI output there, remote yeah. USB it's, as well. It's, it's high tech, but it harks back to the, uh, the good old days, if you like. It's, it's, it's a mix of the good things from each generation. Now, obviously as a professional photographer, your uh, camera is the most important bit of kit, probably other than your eyes. Yeah. Um, so what is special about the DF that makes it you know, your go-to camera at the moment? Um, I just like, it, it's lightweight. Um, it's a great camera to use. All the buttons, all the knobs fit well. It's, it's very tactile. Because it's metal on the top, uh, it's got a very tactile feel. It, it's nice to use. It's, it's not just a lump. It is, it is something creative, and it makes you want to be creative. Uh, and particularly, they've, they've coupled it with a 50mm 1.8 lens as a kit lens. Now the kit lens idea went out years ago, Nikon have reintroduced it and I think that's a really nice touch and using just a 50mm 1.8 on jobs it makes you go and look for the image and it, it, sets, it challenges you. You don't just stand and zoom, you go and look for the image and that's what I like about the DF. And it strikes me, we were talking about the whole retro thing as well, it's not just retro styling, it's almost a kind of philosophy really about going back to some of the skill, the craft Absolutely. of what photography is about. It's, Nikon have used the slogan pure, pure photography, and it is, it's about getting simple, getting back to the basics, uh, going out and looking for the image, using a lens and having photography as a craft, not as a technical exercise. It is about keeping it simple and going looking for the image. Now, for people who are either at the show already or might be watching on the stream at home who are thinking, you know what, I kind of need to either upgrade my camera or buy a new camera, I'm wondering who this would be angled towards. Is it someone looking to take their first step perhaps in sort of full frame or, or DSLR photography? Is it someone else who maybe has already got a lower end camera, maybe wants to, you know, t take a step up? Yeah, it, it's certainly aimed at sort of a certain section of the market, but I had someone ask me after a talk yesterday, is it any good for beginners? I think absolutely ideal for beginners because you've got the big buttons and things, it's easy to use, but a pro like myself who wants a lightweight camera to hike up mountains and shoot with, it's good for that as well. So yeah, it can be an upgrade camera, it can be your first camera, and as a pro, it could even be your go-to camera. It is that good. 
good to hear it. Now, are you talking again for the rest of the photography show on the stage here? Yeah, I'm on the Nikon stage again on Monday morning, and uh, I'm on the studio stage Monday afternoon. And what times are they, in case people want to come along and see? Um, I think it's 12 o'clock tomorrow for the Nikon, and it's 4 o'clock on the studio stage for a more general landscape talk. Jeremy Walker, thank you very much indeed. If you want to hear more about Jeremy and his work and also about the Nikon DF, then make your way over to the Nikon stand here at uh, the Photography Show 2014 or go along to one of his talks. Thanks a lot, mate.